All right, guys, we're down here in Jackson, Ohio, with Steezy Adventures. We're down in the Warren's garage, putting this bike back together. As you can see, we've got a lot of work done since the last time we got the gas tank on. A little custom work down here by uh, my cousin Jay. We've got front fenders on, all the uh, nice cords and stuff going, and uh, we're working on the speedometer still. Today, we're gonna be putting on uh, a new pipe wrap, getting the pipes put back on. Got the mirrors back on, but the pipe wrap's really the big deal today. So uh, stick with us. We're gonna show you how we do this. Oh yeah, we're uh, getting the, uh, which one is this? This is the front one. It goes on the bottom, but it's, it comes off the front head. trying to put this bracket on for the upper exhaust. There's a whole lot of space. It's all way. But they acted like it was hard. This is the easiest thing ever. Wash it won't run right now. The last time I worked on my bike, we wrecked it. Y'all saw that, so. That's good, bud. Look at that. Perfect. Tighten them bolts up those studs. This is where they've been all night. Hey, y'all, yeah. hey, what's up? It's been a minute since we started this video. Uh, about a week ago, started this video, the final part of the rebuild of the Sportster 883, my Sportster 883, the one that I wrecked. Uh, show you that little bit, bit of that video there. But yeah, so it's been about a week since I did the first half of this video. Uh, it's been about a month and a half to two months since I crashed the bike. Um, and it was pretty rough. I mean, we've, we've got a lot of money put back in this thing to fix it. It took a lot of time because, of course, I'm not down here. I work up in uh, Dayton and my bike's down here at the garage at my parents' house down in the garage. Uh, so it's been a minute. We've got it back together, though, finally running. Uh, and I'm gonna take it for a ride later, but right now I'm gonna show you guys what we've done to it and what it looks like right now. All right, guys, so this is the final product of our rebuild. All right, so real, real, real quick rundown of what all we've done. We've put the old stock air, uh, air filter back on because that's what I had laying around. We went and bought a 2003 tank and front fender to put on there redid the entire front suspension so new fork tubes uh we put new risers new handlebar risers and new a hangers and new mirrors because i broke the mirror and i bent the handlebar and the other risers were ugly we put a new wheel which was actually the last thing we've done so that new wheel is black which we think we're going to go with the black thing now uh, so it gives a whole new look to the bike really a New brake rotor you can't really see it there But it's got like a, a spoke look to it. So it kind of goes with the spoke wheels What else uh, new brake line or New clutch cable um, Let's see here something over here The front brake lever here has been polished and straightened out. I had to replace this rod that runs here, the uh, brake push rod, I think, or something like that. No, that's wrong. I don't know, some kind of brake rod that I replace. We rewrapped the pipes in that sleek black look, which matches the front wheel really well, matches the frame really well. Um, what else? 
I think that's about it. We took the sissy bar off. Um, so yeah, she's running now. Oh, and we relocated the turn signal, or the uh, turn signal, relocated the speedometer down here because the Sportster, the 2005 AA3, had this weird looking little, uh, little uh, speedometer that would sit right here and it would come up into here. And with the new tank, that just wasn't working because it's, it sits a lot higher. So if you can see, we actually have, this is actually a 2003 tank on a 2005. So it wouldn't fit right. So we had to modify it by putting this bracket in right here and this bracket in right here, which actually gives it a little bit of a lift, you know, so it gives it that lifted Sportster tank look, which just looks good. I mean, it looks like old school. So that's always cool. So I didn't just get some new, put some new stuff on my bike. I also got a little, some new gear. As you know, if, once you crash, you're supposed to replace your helmet. So I did go buy a new helmet and I'm gonna be doing a review on this new helmet. Uh, I went and bought a Biltwell Gringo S. That old school classic look. Let me get out for you, show you guys what it's all about. Oh yeah, still got the stickers on it and everything. Like I said, got that real classic look there. Nice old school helmet, pearlescent white, of course, because it looks classy and classic. Also went and got a new jacket. Of course, I'll show you, I have to show you guys a little bit of uh, me wearing it later, but I have no idea how to pronounce this. That's the brand. IXS or something like that. It's supposed to be really nice. It's a one of them lightweight summer jackets that has the like shoulder and back and elbow protection. And other than that, it's just mesh. So hopefully that'll keep me from ever getting road rash ever again because that freaking sucked. One more thing I got. Brand new pair of Milwaukee leather performance apparel short perforated gloves. Because my old gloves, my old Joe Rocket gloves, they did really good, but they got a hole in them. So, yeah. All right, y'all, one more thing I gotta show you before I get a little test ride going on here. This just came in the mail, and that is this helmet mount for the GoPro. That's right, we're about to be taking videos to the next level. And uh, let me see if I can get this Harley started up let you guys hear how she sounds.
All right, guys. What's up? So, I'm currently in Givens, Ohio, which is right down the road from Beaver, which is right down the road from my house. I'm not gonna get real far today because it's supposed to thunderstorm. And we're really just test riding the bike. Uh, so far, seems to ride pretty good. I've noticed that the clutch lever is a little bent, uh, which the only reason I noticed that is because it doesn't feel quite right when I grab it. It still works. It just doesn't feel the same as it used to. So clutch lever is probably bent. Uh, right now, the uh, heat wrap is smoking, which I found is kind of a common thing when you first put it on. It smokes. It smells kind of, well, kind of like butthole. Uh, but other than that, the bike's running great. Ran out of gas trying to go to Jackson, so I stopped at Markham's and got some gas. Uh, and then I decided to ride back this way because it's curvier this way. And I, wasn't gonna go, I didn't want to go real far anyway because it is supposed to thunderstorm and we are just test riding it right now. So, so far it's doing pretty good. Uh, helmet review after just less than probably 40 miles. Uh, I really like it. Gets a lot more air than my last helmet, but I really like it. Uh, a lot more air up around here, not quite around the bottom. But other than that, it's really comfortable. Uh, it's kind of hot. I get a little more hot because it is a full head helmet instead of like uh, the one that I had before, which is a full, a, kind of a full head, but it would, the, the chin didn't really protect. It was just like a windscreen. So it is a little hotter than that. Jacket view so far. When we're on the bike, the jacket's great keeps you nice and cool with the breeze coming through the mesh uh, off the bike of course it gets a little hot so that's the whole thing you gotta consider y'all little after action review of the first ride on the sportster since we we've, we've uh, rebuilt it right now she's running freaking awesome like i said she ran out of gas but that's because we just put in a tank on it and uh of course we didn't check to see if there was you know like gas in that tank the answer was there was not very much so i did have to put on the reserve do some gas other than that she's running great carburetor works good clutch line works good brake works good suspension works good the only thing that I complain about right now is that clutch lever, it's bent, and the left mirror, if you guys looked and saw in the video, the left mirror did in fact uh, get come loose, which dad said that he thought it might because he did ride it before I did just to see if it would run. Uh, he said it came loose when he rode it, so we might have to you know tighten the left mirror up. Other than that, bike's running good. Bike looks fantastic I mean as good as it can looks as good as it possibly could for being wrecked literally a couple months ago and having the minimum amount of money we could possibly put into it put into it helmet built well green US one right in with that 
What is it? Uh, Shurwo GoPro mount. It's freaking awesome. The only thing I would say about it is that I do get a little more uh, wind coming through the visor up underneath here uh, than I did with my old Scorpion Covert, which is probably still good. Dad's going to wear it because, you know, he doesn't really want, he's not really that worried about having a, a actual protection for the front. I wanted something that had real protection for the front. He wants it to keep the wind off of his face when he rides to out of state to states that require helmets. The Milwaukee leather perforated perfor gloves. These things are just awesome. No complaint at all. They're great. And then, of course, the jacket. The IXS, I think. IXS. It's pretty good. Like I said, when you're on the bike, it keeps you cool, uh, keeps you protected. And then when you're off the bike, it is a jacket. So even though it's mesh, it's still a jacket. It has armor. It's hot. Uh, the only reason I was off the bike for very long enough to notice that was because I stopped in Givens at a old um, mechanic shop that I didn't honestly know was open right now. I thought that it was after their hours, but the old guy that works there or owns the place, he walked out and said, hey man, why are you parked in my parking lot? I said, oh dude, I'm just checking on my bike, just rebuild it, make sure it's running right. He goes, oh cool, do you want to see all my bikes? So I walked inside and he had literally five Harleys sitting there and just all of them were in really good shape. They're all for sale, so if you need a new motorcycle, check out Givens, Ohio. They have, there's a guy down there, he's selling five. I don't think he has an actual location. I think it's just a guy that owns a, ha a, a shop down there. I don't think they have a name for the shop. But he, uh, he has two Sportsters and a Heritage that are for sale. And then a Dynaglide, which by the looks of the guy, you could probably work out a deal with them. And they all run, they're all in pretty good shape. I mean, they all have parts of the match. One of them is a Sportster, a 2003 Sportster. So the gas tank that this came off of, except for it's literally in perfect condition. So it looks better, considerably better than my bike. Uh, the Heritage was a 90s, it looks good. So if you're in the market for a new bike, check him out. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching. If you like this, put it in the comments below. If you didn't like it, do the same thing. Uh, but if you did like it, also subscribe and like the video. If you didn't like it, again, tell me why we sucked. Uh, and you know what? Here in a couple weeks, I'm hoping to get some more motorcycle videos. Thanks for watching, y'all, and see you next time.